Here we have another 10 things video. This time it's a part two of 10 things you are doing wrong in CSGO or 10 things that you can do better. Whatever makes more sense for you. If you haven't watched the first part yet, feel free to do it afterwards. You will see some general tips that work for all the maps as well as very situational stuff on certain maps. Let's go. We're gonna start off from the Gash A bomb site. Although the map is getting a remake soon, still this version may be with us for more than a month. And maybe this is helpful in a new version as well. So it's not a bad idea to talk about the best A main plant possible. If the site is clear, you have the bomb site control, you should know that it's pointless to plant in the default corner, as it's harder for you to defend the bomb afterwards. Now most of the people plant right here, in the very corner of the bomb zone area, that is nicely visible to A main. The thing you are doing wrong here, or you could do better, is the fact that CT can still defuse the bomb aiming towards you at A main, and therefore it's easier for him or her to fake the defuse or to kill you. Instead, plant the bomb to this place. You need the same amount of map control to execute this plant, and after the bomb is down, enemy can't face main and bomb at the same time. It's also a lot easier for T's to see if CT is defusing or facing you. While with the first plant, you can't really tell it. Make sure to enjoy this little knowledge cookie as long as you can. Next up, a very general tip. You probably know some people who like to slice the walls with knife when they are rotating. Or maybe they do it just for fun. The bad news is that those sound cues are very helpful to enemy team as they can hear it from far away. Just listen to this. Where do you think it's coming from? It's actually coming from short. So yeah, you're doing it wrong when you're carelessly slicing around the map. It's not good for you. The overpass and fountain area. It's a pretty casual idea, still lots of people are doing it wrong. When you push A short or even sneak towards it, use the very right side for that. This way CTs can't see you or they have to wide peek in order to see you. If you have a very good spawn, you may surprise your peeking enemy when sprinting towards A short using the right side here. Just try to make your enemy's life harder, not easier. Going up like this, using the middle route, is usually a very easy kill for them, if they only want to go for it. Super general. The Inferno, I have seen at least 125 times how this corner position causes some problems for T's if they want to get to the A bomb site. Sometimes all the other A defenders are dead, it's 4 versus 1 side take and this guy in the corner can hold this down. So especially when you are a T yourself and most of the A defenders are already dead, you can easily wallbang this spot. You don't need to necessarily kill the defender with the wallbang, just scare him or her and get the sound cues if anyone is there. You can do it with multiple weapons and it's a very effective way to clear this position. Usually when they take some damage, they want to change their position. But because of the sound cues, you know exactly that enemy must be very close. You are doing this wrong if you are not clearing this annoying position with a couple of bullets through the wall. No exact lineup needed, just feel it yourself. Very easy stuff. Also, talking about wall banks, just a little bonus for you that I saw from Roka's stream. Climb on this wooden thingy in the corner, aim like shown, and start shooting. It's a very useful shooting line, damages people who are trying to get to boiler, and also anyone who are climbing close to the balcony. Just a tiny bonus for you, enjoy. You are doing it wrong when you or your team are only opening doors with E. You can easily open most of the doors with a nade, and it can be more useful than you think. For example on overpass, you are a B player, you nade connector door. Now with one jump spot, you can see both. Be short tunnel and anyone trying to get up close in connector. Your teammate now also has a clear way to nade inside connector through the door frame. Or you can wallbang connector without losing some damage because of the door. Next example is a nuke. Squeaky door. Lots of pro teams are nading it as a T because it allows them to throw quick nades to A main without getting that close to the door. Remember that you don't need to always open the doors to go through them. You can just destroy them from a distance and in some cases it's better to keep the distance. Easy as that. Another thing that most people don't know and often do it wrong is that when you're playing a close corner, you are in a vision disadvantage. It means enemy can see you first. 
I can show you some examples here where you can see that when you're playing very close to the object and hold an angle like this, enemy coming from a distance usually sees you first. And also he or she has a peeker's advantage as well. So make sure you pick your future positions wisely. Alright, I thought everyone already knows this, but I learned from my stream that some people in the chat actually didn't know about that. So the fastest way to kill full HP enemy who is facing you with a knife is to slice twice and then right click. Boom. If enemy has back turned to you, you can just right click. This is the actual quickest way to get a knife kill. But when enemy is facing towards you, then hold your left click till you slice twice and then right click. It's a bit faster than two right clicks. You are doing it wrong when you are trying to right click twice and think it's the quickest way to get a knife kill. Next up, I want to briefly talk about shadows. No shadow advantage positions. I feel this might be a topic I should make a full video on, but right now I show you only one example on Mirage next to A ramp. If you are a T who is sneaking close to A ramp, you want to be in the shadow, not out in the sun. Because if you're out in the sun, enemy who might be pushed can see your shadow first and has a huge advantage on you. Therefore, as a CT, if you push to this position, keep your crosshair rather lower. Because if T or Ts are coming in the shadow, you can't see them first. And if they're coming up there, out in the sun, you can see their shadow first and then adjust your crosshair. There are many shadow disadvantage spots throughout all the maps, so it would be good if you know those and try to avoid sneaking there. Here, next to ramp, you are doing it wrong when you sneak out in the sun. Mirage as an example, but I see many people taking unnecessary and very predictable nade damage early in the round. 80% of the times, defenders smoke, nade, molotov key choke points early in the round. So if you're trying to work your way up as a T in B apps, take it slowly. Don't run into their early nades and start your round with minus 50 HP. Do it smarter, play it passively early, wait for the nades, unless your team doesn't have a rush plan in their mind. If you want to rush to the bomb site, then someone probably has to take this early nade damage. Otherwise, try to avoid this and don't make stupid moves. As I said, almost every round, defenders throw some sort of utility early in the round. And the last idea for this video, don't try to help your teammates with nades, especially flashes, when you feel they can't cope with them. It will usually cause more trouble than good for your team. It may sound like a great idea to flash your teammate or teammates out for middle, but I have been in situations when they call the flash themselves, then I explain where the flash will pop, how they need to dodge it, and boom, when I throw it, someone will still complain that they got full flashed. So if you feel supportive nades are too much for your teammates, then just don't throw nades that could hurt their gameplay. Although there are still some safe opportunities to throw supportive flashes. I believe smokes, nades and molotovs are in most of the cases still fine. My awesome subscribers, make sure you turn on the bell icon 